Well, we have an interesting week in the weather department. Uh, kind of a lot of changes happening, a lot of different things happening, one of which is this area of low pressure here, uh, currently located uh, in the Bay of Campeche to our south. And right now, that only has a 20% chance of development into a tropical system. But regardless, this is tropical moisture that is going to start lifting northward tomorrow. So that is going to have an impact on our forecast later this week in the form of some heavy rainfall, as well as tropical storm Lydia. This is currently a tropical storm out in the eastern Pacific. Pacific. That's actually forecast to become a hurricane and make landfall in Mexico by Tuesday or Wednesday. And then we're going to see that moisture cross over Mexico and uh, into the Gulf of Mexico. And that's just additional moisture that will help fuel some rain chances later this week. So we're already beginning to see those winds. Uh, they've already returned to the south, so that moisture is already increasing. Tomorrow we can expect quite a bit of cloud cover here out ahead of that. And then we're going to start to see, again, the rainfall arriving in Louisiana here by Wednesday. And we are going to see some areas of heavy rainfall concentrated on the coast, primarily from southeast Louisiana over to the Alabama and Florida Gulf Coast. Uh, but we will have the possibility of seeing some rainfall here in central Louisiana with this system as well. Fortunately, it does look like we're probably going to miss the heaviest. Models not quite in agreement yet. Some areas uh, to our north may not see much rain at all, uh, but some areas to the south, maybe areas like Royals and St. Landry, could see maybe up to two inches of rainfall here with this system later this week. And then the rest of us can expect to see at least some rainfall here across the area. So uh, that's going to be our next best chance of rain. Meanwhile, right now we do have high pressure in place, but winds have returned to the southwest. So uh, that moisture is increasing and we'll definitely be feeling that the next couple of days. Be besides our midweek tropical moisture that we're going to be looking at, uh, we'll also have a, a shortwave trough moving through here on Wednesday, which will help spark that rainfall as well. And then on Friday, we'll be looking at a trough pushing a cold front through the air area. Now that one looks like it's likely to pass through here dry, but that is going to bring us some cooler temperatures and yet another dip in humidity once we get into the weekend. So we'll be back to humid conditions the next couple of days, but uh, that front expected to pass through on Friday and that should set us up for a really nice weekend for tonight. Mid and upper 50s, so still cool, not quite as cool as the 40s we had yesterday morning, uh, which was actually the coldest we've been since around mid to late April. And then highs tomorrow still pretty warm, looking at low to mid 80s, some upper 80s here from Alexandria up through Colfax, Natchitoches, and Winfield. So back to being a little above average. But the main thing we'll notice tomorrow is that increase in high cloud cover. It actually starts tonight. Uh, so we're likely to see mostly cloudy skies there by the afternoon. Winds pretty light tomorrow out of the southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Low 80s there by noon. And by 5 o'clock, we're into the low to mid 80s. And then looking at our extended forecast, we do have uh, the clouds increasing tomorrow. Tem temperatures will be warm going into uh, Wednesday, that'll be when we see that chance for scattered showers and some thunderstorms here across the area again. And we are expecting some heavy rain to set up somewhere. As of now, looks like that'll most likely be across South Louisiana, but certainly some much needed rainfall here uh, across Louisiana. Highs on Wednesday only in the mid 70s due to the clouds and rain. And then going into Thursday, we should have a chance for some isolated rain, some low 80s for highs, warming up on Friday into the upper 80s. But then we'll be looking at our cold front passing through, likely by Friday evening. So Friday night football games, if you already look ahead to that, it is looking like uh, it's going to be mainly dry as of now. And then back to some really picture perfect weather. Again, looks like it's going to time out nicely for our weekend. Back to the 50s Saturday morning, highs in the 70s. Sunday, one of our cooler mornings, low 50s with highs in the 70s. And then by next Monday, back to the 40s again with highs in the 70s.